others. These beings have expanded their sense of identity to include not only themselves, but beings who are antithetical to them and beings who are offshoots of them. We're talking about an expanded cosmic perceptive perception, a multi-dimensional perception that says, I am me. First of all, it says, I am me, the individual. Then it says, I am also, I am me, this group. Then it says, I am me, I am consciousness. I am all of this. And because I am a loving being, because I am, you know, it, based in unconditional love, beautiful green energy, I love even that which is the opposite of me. And I love even that which it has the potential to grow into being me. And I would say that at the level, from the experience point of being in a human corporeal form, that we are endeavoring to expand our sense of personality, our personhood, and our sense of identity to encompass this also, to say, I am this corporeal human having this earthly experience, and I am also this higher dimensional perception, this non-earthly pers perspective of looking at humanity from a perspective outside of the third dimension. That's why this appears to be non-human, but it is still you. It is who you are when you are outside of the human realm and outside of the human perspective. So it's like saying that these beings up here want to help these beings down here because they see that they are the same being. This is the same being. It's the same person moving at vastly different rates in time or existing in two vastly different locations, one being this dimension, one being a totally different dimension. However, both part of the same consciousness. And this is how we begin to resolve duality. Remember, the duality is created by the false experience of being separated and quarantined from divine consciousness. When you first begin to reconnect to that divine consciousness, you say, ah, it is something other than me. When you get closer and closer and closer, you realize you're really kissing yourself in the mirror. That really, this is you, and this is also you. And not only is there nothing to fear, but that there's everything to celebrate. The reason why there's nothing to fear is because you know who your true self is. You know who your core is in here, because you've gone through this process of whittling away your ego and letting go of all that is not the real you, everything that came from this, everything that came from a falsely implanted operating system that prevented you from connecting with higher consciousness, that that is not the real you. And you actually can take that out of your genetic expression. And at this point, I wish that I could just erase, there we go. You can take that out of your genetic expression and you can only keep the parts of your genetic expression that are really you. And this has been the journey that humanity has been on. It is important to understand that using your free will and making choices is what causes the changes on a genetic level that I've already given lessons previously about epigenetics and about how you are not a victim of your genes and about how your genes are a potential but that it is up to your choices your beliefs and the way that you use your will to guide the expression of those genes and I've also told you about how everything affects your genes, including new thoughts and ideas. At the level of yellow, this level of your conscious intellect, when you read a book, you're changing your genes. When you listen to this lesson, you are changing and reevaluating your genes. So as you're making these free will choices at the level of yellow, the question is, which genes are you uh, exacerbating? The ones that are serving only yourself, where it says, I only care about me, and I only want to take care of me, and I don't care, I'll do it at the expense of everyone else. Or the ones that say, it is important for me to serve the whole, because serving the whole serves myself. It is important for me to serve and make sure that all of humanity and all life on Earth are happy and healthy, because Earth is my body. And I wouldn't want my, my you know, ear to be happy 
While my shoulder is miserable, I would still be unhappy. You begin to see yourself as part of a much larger organism. This is the expansion of identity. And now I'm still using yellow as a color intentionally because we're talking about expanding your identity. No longer is this identity just what you are when you are submerged in the third dimension in this particular bio body suit. Now you have an unlimited identity. You identify with the planet. You identify with celestial ancestors. You identify with spirits that have passed through this dimension and are on their journey towards somewhere else. You identify with consciousness, not necessarily with just a limited corporeal form. And this is the next level of development that humanity needs to master as we are reascending this genetic ladder. And 